Hello there, we are playing Deep Rock Survivor, or Deep Rock Galactic Survivor that is. Danger, Darkness, Dwarves. Uh, this game, um, I've been playing it, uh, I, I've probably played it for about a day and a bit, there's quite a few hours. Uh, after having played it I, I unlocked four classes and a bunch of weapons, uh, doing the, learning the over, overclocks and all sorts of things like that. Uh, all that may mean nothing to you, but don't worry. What it, what I'm saying is, is I have tested the game. I'm not a, I'm not a like excellent survivor. I don't always survive, and I do find the final boss on the maps difficult. But I want to show you what classes there are. I'm going to play uh, one uh, a game with each class. Uh, there are there are classes I'm better at than others. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a look at that and. We're going to see what the game looks like in general, and it might give you a gist of whether you're even interested in it. Myself, I've absolutely loved it. I, f I think it's just a fantastic game. Uh, I believe it's different developers um, than from the uh, Deep Rock Galactic, the first person game. Uh, but the guys who made the first person game, they are um, publishing this game. So they are linked, and so their IP is being used in making this game. Right. So let's have a look quick look the settings are very simple uh, there's your gameplay there's your video there's your audio and you've got your credits there we are there's the music and all the stuff these are the people who made it so uh, milestones this is an interesting tab reason why is it shows uh, your weapons your artifacts and your classes particular achievements why you would track them is if you get it then you get the corrosive uh, sludge pump gun and you can see what you what you need to do to get the things that you want now I haven't locked unlocked everything but I've unlocked enough on each class to show you something worth seeing I've unlocked most of the artifacts um, these are specialist things you get uh, with an orbital drop um, but we will see that later on and then this is your class overview uh, one of the things I, f I, I found out is that you've got your class and then they've got like these extra sort of class versions or class mods. So that's all fun. Upgrade panel. Now up the top here you've got your selection of resources. Resources are important because you get enough of these along with the currency, you know, your ka and then you match them and that enables you to buy upgrades now I've kind of bought higgledy piggledy all over the place maybe I should have focused like entirely on luck or something like that but I've I've tried to upgrade myself and lots of little different bits and then that's that and then let's click on play now you've it bear in mind this is an early access title that means it's not all there yet there is a ton of stuff ready they've even stated all this stuff that's coming that they've already either working on finished or planning there's a lot already to come including more like class mods and probably loads of new weapons um, so you've got three maps uh, we're gonna start with the crystalline caverns it's kind of like your basic uh, map that your magma core is like it's got lava it's magma and then your hollow bar uh, this has got something a little bit spicier now you see this little red piece here these are special walls you can't go through and that's one of the things you're going to notice in the game is you're going to have to go through walls uh, obviously your dwarves and it's mining it's all about mining and dwarves um, and then you've got this kind of like these twigs and these twig things these grow back and then of course you've got your normal rock in the, ma the magma one bear in mind you can get burnt on some of the magma rocks uh, which can uh, impede your movement um, I can't remember but I think you can use that against enemies as well crystalline caverns, caverns the jewel of Hoxus. is basically this is the, your basic level as you see I'm not expert um, I've done uh, completed hazard one started working on hazard two haven't even tried hazard three let alone these uh, as you do these, uh, do a hazard, you unlock a point, and each point that you uh, unlock builds up this little tally up here. The more of this tally is here, the more difficult levels you get. Obviously, um, it just gets harder, uh, you know, and that's just the way it goes. Right, uh, uh, you can see here, uh, um, earn 15 of these magical points by completing uh, other ha hazard levels and biomes to unlock this. So there we go. So we're going to go on hazard it's one. It's going to be hazard one for me. And I have unlocked uh, the additional three classes. Now, my overview of the classes, uh, the scout, I, I've played a bit, as you can see. I've played a bit of it. Uh, I don't mind the scout. It's nimble. It's reasonably uh, okay at mining. Um, 
as you can see it tells you right here like what it is the most nimble of dwarves the scout relies on long range weapons and increased mobility to faster explore and escape the dangers of uh hoxes four and then as you can see it tells you the hp it tells you it's got a dodge chance dodge is a thing so that that is quite useful when you get um sometimes you get cornered in and you've got to rush through a bunch of enemies dodge can help you've got critical chance of course and uh critical damage uh there you go and then over here the gunner he has armor instead of dodge this guy is one of my favorites because he's i just enjoy the play style uh this guy as you can see he's got mining speed he's all about mining crushing through rocks we'll see that but this guy he is like a, a close range assassin i have been able to nuke a boss uh, with this guy with a fully upgraded sludge and flamers and of course you've got the engineer um, this guy is I didn't like him until my most recent playthroughs he drops turrets down it's it's actually quite interesting because you don't really shoot anything right you that your character himself doesn't really carry many guns you've got all turrets you've got all, uh, drones and all sorts of things and we're gonna look at that we're gonna look at that so first we're gonna click on the scout this is the one I'm I least uh, play really like like uh, well not least play probably um least enjoy although i know it's one of the most popular a lot of other people enjoy it and the scout is pretty strong i believe they did do an upgrade recently making sure that the weapons um have uh, their overclocks unlocked we'll, we'll see overclocks in a minute overclocks is basically your weapon has three upgrade slots and each uh, uh once each overlock is opened you, your weapon your the weapon all of the weapons can get progressively more stronger bear in mind as well when you do unlock a class the first few runs with that new class are going to feel damp they're going to feel meh because they don't have their weapons um uh, overclock unlocked you need to go into the map uh, level it level the gun up you won't get the overlocks um overclocks in the first uh, first map run and um, and maybe not even the second one you may not be able to upload but once you've upgraded all these weapons then the class starts to come into its own so don't judge a class immediately especially if you haven't done the overclocks and they do make a difference say like even the engineer his turrets can be uh, overclock upgraded so they're not static uh, stationary turrets that they can get little tank tracks on them and follow you around so or they can be upgraded to plasma they can be upgraded to uh, to electricity there's a lot of options with that you can even massively increase the number of them uh, massively by two <laughs> but basically you get like five six seven or whatever it is and running around which uh the turret thing we will i will show you this up here is the three uh like class mods this is your classic as you can see in the corner you've got uh 10 move speed uh 20 hp at uh, max hp so you got a bit better health and you're you're faster it's very clear what it is straight out out the gate this is an all-rounder class in my opinion it's deep core g2 uh gk2 is as you can see it is a straightforward assault rifle that shoots in bursts it gets more funky as you upgrade it the next one is recon so this guy as you see in the recon section in the box to the side you can see suddenly the dodge has gone up by 25 percent that can be quite a big deal especially since he doesn't have the heavy armor that you get with the gunner uh, and then when dodging dodging um enemy damage you get 35 percent move speed and 35 percent reload speed reload speed is very good because it means you're you're this is not like those other games those roguelike ones where you know like halls of torment where you're just constantly shooting out like they fire until their clips run out and then there's like a reload period and sometimes in a re reload period you can be, it can get upgraded and you, your armor can be better but you know or you you can survive longer in the armor period you get like buffs and stuff like that next one i haven't unlocked so i don't know what it is but i think it's like uh maybe sniping um from what i from what i saw but we're gonna go classico let's do it i'm a classy scout classy all right controls is literally just wasda and here we go this is the first thing comes up this one when it's got a little star on it is fantastic because it upgrades it several notches you want to get to this fifth knot the larger notches this is where the off overclock action is coming into play and it's pretty it's pretty good when you upload so i've got a rare straight out if you don't like your selection you can pick re-roll for 15 gold if you've got 15 gold in the top and let's roll a gorgeous gun for a gorgeous war i do like the talk my dwarf might be a bit better than your initial one bear in mind i did those upgrades okay here we go so you can upgrade uh you can upgrade the damage 
obvious what that is fire rate fires faster obvious what that is which means it can push out damage quicker and then you've got your reload speed which means you get back into the game after a uh, thing quicker i like damage right there we go these are specialist nodes that have special materials this is what helps you in that upgrade thing as you can see it's just standing still he does this what are these blue orbs obviously that is a little bit of the experience when you mine, I do like to mine because you can, um, again, it's quite a quick way to level up early on. Look at that. Uh, reload speed. We'll have a piece of that action. There we go. As you see in this side corner, which I can't probably look at with the skull at the bottom, this is the amount of rounds you have. So once this has happened, a new round will start. We are supply pod prepped for you. We need the LZ clear. Here we are, collecting these. This is an, uh, a secondary objective. This secondary objective is sometimes worth doing because you can get quite a bit more um, experience gold from that. As you see, it took a little while. At the bottom you can see my gun is reloading. Uh, that is a pain, but it is what it is. Alright, oh, and now, because we've leveled up to 5, 10, 15, 20, each time you get a new weapon, as you can see, you've, oh, 25, you can see 5, 15, 25, you get a new weapon at each of those intervals. Uh, explosive drones... You've got a cryo grenade. I like the cryo grenade because it slows large uh, groups of mobs. So I'm going for that one. Although the pistol one is pretty good because it fires in four directions and it's quite good protection. But we're going grenade. That's it. There we go. This crystal, this is health. Yeah, I'll grab my grenade. That had a little... Um, your way. Load up. A little certificate thing on it which shows that it's... A, ah, I'm getting stuck. It shows it does double upgrade. Now, what I'm doing here... Now, I wouldn't break this entirely quickly, uh, straight away, because um, if I do that, they start to think. Oh, he's over there, you see? So it immediately pulls them into you. Running around, running around, running around. I like to scoop them in little circles. Right? This way, I can feed off of the XP. It. these ones oh, that's a boss one that little those orangey ones those are explosive dudes right we'll go max hp and if you go near those ones you can trigger them to explode early which does damage to the enemy now i like with with the beginning rounds i do like to do this little quick roundup of xp as you can see uh yeah pickup radius is good um, but I, I don't tend to need it that much. A bit more of that. Yep, yeah, upgrade the gun. Overclocks. This is what you, what you need to know. So, this is your main weapon. As you see, you've got three unlocks. la di da di da This is the leveling of the weapon, not your um, uh, class, I think. Yeah, of the weapon. And so, uh, you've got this one. Uh, you can uh, turn the damage type to cold. That's great because it slows them down. While on the other side, you've got 30% 30, 30 more damage, uh, fire rate, uh, minus fire rate, so it fires slower, so the damage comes out, but the damage is up. And you have piercing shots, which damages armor. That's really great, but with this class, I like to manipulate more. I like to control the battlefield, so I'm choosing cold. But you might be like, piercing dude, that's the one. And usually, I would pick that on another class. They're not always the same, by the way. They're not always the same. Like, a different playthrough, the first overclock, second... They, they're kind of random. Okay, an elite boss is coming. I can see him up there. Not to worry. This is see that that cryo grenade um, ham, hampering them down. Let's improve that cryo damage. And my bullets have got cryo in them as well. Okay, so we see this little thing over here. This is a little mini mission that you have inside the game. Always do them, and that's because they give you artifacts. Artifacts are excellent uh, boosts uh, to your game. So you see, I, that cryo throws him. Now I want to keep him in the middle here where the, where the pod drops down. There we go. I didn't have to kill him. I've unlocked this one, um, this BLT ration pack. Uh, as you can see, the life regen is actually quite valuable because sometimes you get damaged and you, you just, you know, you can't find one of those red crystals. Uh, here you can get a chance to find gold. This is excellent money making in my opinion. It's nice to have that as an extra. This is uh, a wonderful wonderful little thing. Uh, when you get damaged it does this big explosion and pushes the enemies back. It's quite a good last stand uh, defense mechanism. But I want this. Oh, yeah. now there we go. 
Because I killed the boss. No, I didn't complete the secondary. I know that, but I find it really hard to concentrate when I'm talking. <laughs> oh. Right, there we go. So you go near him, you trigger him. But if you were clever, you can... Um, oh, what am I doing? Go, you can, like, tease him. Gather up your beard and get onto that oh, truck hard. It's about to leave. Oh, God. Shush. Don't talk to me. That hit the spot. Don't talk to me. Okay. Um. <laughs> so you didn't get a lot out of that. But why did I collect? Why did I do mining? And why did I look for nitra? Mostly, mostly it's because of this point here. This point here. This is a little interim in the middle of the match. Uh, when we do the other things, I won't talk so much. But I just want you to know this in these key basics. Uh, I'm not an expert, by the way, but I, I have played this a lot. So you can pick some of these, and this is like getting a level up, kind of in secretly in the middle. It's like an extra thing. You do want to mine. If you can choose, if you're quite severely injured, because whatever health you, you left the last mission with, you will carry on into the next one. So you might need, you can heal yourself up for 30 gold. As you see, I've only got 43. I'm most, um, my health's fine. Don't need to do it this time. Um, I've got this. It's worth just spending it. Uh, I'm going reload speed, and then I'm going cryo damage. I rarely pick one of these. Uh, you can click re-roll. I'll waste it just to show you. Try then again. you see, look, oh, that would have been great, but I wouldn't have had the nitro for it. But sometimes it's worth re-rolling. If you look at it, you think, oh, I'll do one, maybe two, because it's like five, then it's seven, then it's ten, gold. So if you've got loads of gold, it's still worth doing. Next mission. So it's all the same map, as you see, running through. That's all cool. Right, let's roll. These little bugs, they don't hurt you. You mine them, and you can get some bits and bobs out. They're generally not worth it. Right, this is Nitra. That's that bit up there. We want that. That's gonna. We're gonna try and help help ourselves. Uh, in this game, don't be afraid to bump into things and get hurt every now and then. Uh, it's not the end of the world. You can get your health back. Sometimes it's worth taking damage. A calculated risk. Um, there we go. That's this. On the map, on the mini map, you see little white dots that tells you where these little ob objective pieces are. Uh, ooh, I'm cryo. Go with this. There we go. The is your way. As you up. see, the cryo is coming into play, keeping these bosses back quite a bit. Now you might think I'm being swarmed, right? Like, oh no, there's no way out of this. The bird, uh, the flying bugs are difficult. But you can push in round here and break that. So you can break that assault. Look, tease them. See what I did? I teased the explosives and nicked a bit of XP. This is why I like the cryo because it freezes stuff in place. Grenade and bullets, as you can see, is pretty, pretty strong. This way, I can like almost stand still for a little bit and pin them down. Get that. Even if you don't get all of them for the secondary mission, um, it's not the end of the world. Even you still get XP for collecting them. There we go, look at that. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Now we can overclock our grenade. I can overclock the grenade because I leveled it up beforehand and got it up that full bar. Um, right, reload speed, explosion radius, I like that. My favorite type of clock. There we go, look at this. Look at this juicy blueness. Juicy blueness all over. Okay, hit 15, new weapon. Now, I'm looking at these and I'm like, oh, okay, what have I got here? It's got those four pistols. This is that uh, rifle that I never use. This is a boomerang that's electric I never use. I click reroll. I want a different weapon. Okay, then I suddenly got a shotgun. Oh, I've got these Thunderbird defensive drones, which I like. It's my own personal lightning storm. And as you see, out they come. I like having drones. They do make quite an effect. Here we go. It's a little extra special. I like to focus mostly on one or two weapons upgrading them initially. This bar at the top, you can see big boss turns up. And then this one, a pod drops. I really need to look at my screen. Okay, this is a risk. Come on, pod. Pod. There we go. See, it was worth getting injured. It's okay. So I've got this one here. Uh, I don't like this one very much because it only gives the bonuses when you're standing still. Uh, this one, I don't really use the um, the nitrogenic powder. Uh, increases your crit chance, 0.5% uh, for every nitro you 
uh, you have. I suppose it's good, but I love this one. This is a but, so, like, when I get hurt... Oh, hang on. Yep. Can I paint my nails to match you? See, it pushes that out and then does more damage. I like that. But that's, that's my flavour. That's what I was going for. Sometimes you will find yourself having to surrender um, XP because you can't get to it. That's okay. Don't worry, sir. Bam. Okay, so moving over. This one here. This is going to heal me. Okay, the main boss has come as the top bar uh, made it known. Now, this is an ideal moment to have a little game and run around and collect some bits. I quite like to make the, the big boss monster chase me around for a while. Uh, a sexy little tip is the big uh, land-based bugs will crush the walls um, behind you as they're following. So that can be a nifty little trick to kind of like sneakily mine. Now what am I doing here? I'm looking for gold. Because I want to get this gold thing up here. He's a flying one. That's a problem. That means he can... Uh, you see Cryo coming in there? Um, the gold. There we go. I want to get... Oh, hang on. Okay. I want to get the Nitro because often you get a lot of really good uh, weapon upgrades uh, between missions for Nitro. You can get an upgrade where you get um, spare bits of gold and nitro from killing, uh, for mining normal rock. That is possible. See, don't be afraid. Just, just run for them. Let, let them do their thing. Do bear in mind these bugs are bugs. They're stupid. Uh, they are generally just follow you in little circles. This makes them highly manipula manipulatable. There you go. See, I've got all the, all the nodgets. And now, what I'm doing is I'm running back roughly the way I came. This is this plan. This I usually do this just to see if I can pick up any stray. There's a thing there, but it's too late. Uh, let's do this. We've got time. Do get on the drop pod. Do not miss it. There we go. Look at that. Bloodthirsty. You can still cream it a bit here. You see? I'm creaming it. And now I'm done. Onwards to stage Ooh. three. Almost to stage three. That deserves a chalky milk coffee. Okay. I love this one. Look at that. That is two. And I've got the uh, nitro. Although that's got 35 damage. I'm going to have to take that. That's a no -brainer. So I'm looking at these and I'm like... Meh, right? What else we got? Reroll. Um, damn, look at that. Look at that animal. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll have some uh, cryo. Reroll. Uh, we're gonna uh, XP gain. Oh, we'll have XP gain. This rare stuff. And then sure. Why not? There we go. See, it's just quick choices. Um, to do and to it can affect you how well you do. Team. Sometimes it's worth um, having a plan with like what damage you want to do, are you doing electrical fire or cryo or whatever, chemical. Excellent. So I've explained quite a lot now, you, pro you probably got the gist of it. Look at that, beautiful gold. Now if you were playing the driller, trust me, you would drill the hell out of this. Yeah, it would be game over mate. There you go. Bam. Remember you get XP. Four. This is perfect for my build. Over clocky. Okay. So this one, this is this is a great one. This is a great one. I know it is. And I'm probably not going to beat the boss at the end of this on this class because I do struggle with this one. This is a great one. But why I'm going to choose this one is it targets the, the enemy with the highest HP. This enables you to focus on the boss more often. So if you push your damage up anyway elsewhere, um, I find that. My, my personal preference is that's a good move. It may not be, it may not be the meta, but we're all, exp you know, like testing the waters with it. Big swarm detected. Bugger get ready. See. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Now you see the fire bugs? Look at this. Bang. Took some damage, but who gives a damn? 
Um, doing that. You, you shouldn't always pick it based on just because it's green or, or like a elite. Sometimes like what makes sense for you is the move. That's it. Gun, 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 gun. There we go. While he's frozen, you can move around him safely. Epic critical oh, yeah. damage. I'm having it because that just excites me. It makes my brain go wild. I want to upgrade my cryo grenade now. Now that's something that interests me. Let's do this mission. New weapon. Uh, I don't like any of them. Um, I, oh, I haven't got any more, have I? Shotgun is sweet, but I don't know if I've done that one fully or that one fully. I think I need to upgrade that one to level 2 to unlock the powerful. So you see, this means I haven't uh, uh, overclocked it yet. But um, I'm going pistols. As you can see, look at that quad. Um, quad push out there with the bullets. This is beautiful. You get a bit of gold in there as well. But gold does take longer to mine. So you have to calculate with that with your movement risk. As you can probably tell, I'm surrounded. Um, there we go. Just, just play it cool. Play it cool. Tiny movements. Tiny movements. There we go. Move in. Quickly grab the artifact. I'm going for Nitro. I'm finding less of that. Uh, XP. That makes the XP you pick up more effective, so that's fine. Yep, I'll pick a gun. As you can see, it's, that's a swarm button, three skulls. Okay, not to worry. Let's keep it funky fresh. Let's keep it funky fresh, people. There we go. Cryo does some of the work. Uh, I want that. Uh, now I want to go this way. But I'm not going to break the last rock. So let those go now. See, because they change direction. They go, they basically smart path, whichever is the quickest way to you. Even if it makes no sense. Okay, I want this one. Bing, bang, bong. Wonderful. That resource, that will be helpful for upgrading your character in the screen outside. My drone's obviously putting out the pain. The cryo is doing very well. I want to get close to those boomers. Uh, it can be sweaty. Bear in mind, the only keys I'm pressing is uh, the WASD keys and using the mouse to click on when I get an ability come up. Uh, so it's very arcadey. Look at that. There we go. I want to trigger those boomers, trigger the boomer. Oop. That's not a problem. See, injures the boss. I'm already nuking them. Don't worry about it. Sometimes I'm a bit of a tease and I stand there and I'm like, you want it, don't you? And they come for it every time. Bang. Not to worry. Give me that. Give me that sweet, sweet stuff. Okay, we're going to go grenade. There we go. Need to be intelligent here, which is a challenge. Um, I've got 20 seconds. I can get some gold. Okay, don't panic. Don't worry about it. Remember, mining gets you XP. Always worth it, in my opinion. I use their explosions of their bodies there to mine the last of the gold. Uh, when the drop pod drops, sometimes it crashes into important stuff. I used every second I could of that to get anything extra to make the next bit easier for myself. Okay, so uh, when I look at this, uh, I'm going to have legendary critical damage, and I'm going to overclock my grenade. Bam! Okay. We've got grenade explosions now deal damage uh, to the terrain. Why is that interesting? That helps you create uh, extra paths, but remember you can't control the damage. Um, and then this one, 50% more damage, and it's quicker reload, which means you can throw more grenades more often. Um, I'm going to do this one only because I've never used it before. This is going to change everything. And, yep, there we go. You have your right. objectives. Get it done, Miner. Wonderbar. There we go. This is a new objective. You only need to get six of these, and I love it when that comes up. I don't like uh, the pink uh, baubles. There you are. So I've got three out of six already. Mm. Holy moly. Yeah. Grenade's damaging the train. It's not doing that much, is it? They are. Whoop, watch out. Those pink candy floss things, that's not love. That is death. Um, and that is spat out by one of these spitters. 
And nobody likes this better. There we go, we're in. Click, 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 click. Using that fire just to get a little bit more damage. I don't mind taking a few knocks. I don't mind. Okay. So we're going to tease them. Ooh, I'll do that gun up. Sometimes I find the overclocks, because it's random, the overclocks, or as far as I know, um, I find you don't really get um, the overclocks you want. I wish you could, like, have a build of overclocks, like pre-registered or pre-made, uh, you know what I mean? Because, um, like, I don't like the absolute randomness of it. Okay. Oops, I did sound too close to that. Okay, no problems. Candy gloss. Bubba bubba. That's it. I feel no shame. Just watching them crawl to me under the influence of cryo. So we are our phase four. So the next phase will be the main boss. The main boss, I'll probably die in it. I'm generally not very good uh, at the main boss, especially this class. Now, pay attention. Look at these bugs. These big green ones, these like Victorians, whatever they're called. Alright, look, they're damaging the terrain. You can use them to mine for you. So if a key thing is there, you can let them do the work for you. Alright. I'm tarting around. Okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna... This one looks best! I think crit is quite strong in the game. Uh, can I get close to that stuff? Yeah, there, got the health. Sometimes you can damage the boomers, uh, the explosive ones, uh, just enough that they will um, blow up anyway. This is a defensive tactic I do. I, I draw them through a little tunnel while keeping my walls safe. Upgrading the grenade like that has clearly caused me problems. Bam. There we are. Got one of those uh, magnets that draws all of that love juice. Yeah. Okay, let's focus. We've got the final overclock. This one is always a confusing one. 150 plus damage minus 50 fire rate. Greatly increases damage at the cost of fire rate. Then the other one, 100% damage, so 50% less than the other one, but it's got 100% reload speed. But, although that would be my choice, uh, it does say other weapons have minus 30 damage and minus 30, 30 reload, which means all the upgrades I've done to my other weapons just kind of get nerfed. So I'm going this one, because this, now we're cooking with gas. this will be quite good. And also remember, I've trained this gun to fire on the boss, primarily. Uh, up. Do. And, oh, okay. Uh, should we do fire rate? Sure, why not? I want it. I want it. Let's them out. Look at that. A bounty of pain on the bugs. I want it. This one was fast. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Bunga. I like to um, up upgrade the weapons, though that may not be the optimum uh, situation. Right, okay, so that's a lot of that. As you can see, these new things come up at... These, they leap out and hit you, but they don't move from where, they are, where they're stationed. Right, okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is do the old follow me trick. Don't break that wall. See, use the cryo, punishes him. How far away is it? I'm probably being ridiculous. Use it to mine for me. That crystal can catch you out. I'm probably not going to make it. I probably made a mistake. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. Here we go. Oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Stage four completed. Next stage is the Dreadnought. Prepare accordingly. <laughs> you know what it means. Okay, cool. We got through that. Right, we're going to do this because it upgrades it. Overclocks. Bring the cold damage to bear. 
Ah, ooh, A, R, Arg. Yep. I'm gonna do something epic with. I'm gonna reroll. What so, else? Uh, HP. Oh, great the armor. Uh, resistance. I'm a new dwarf. Correct, a Mundo Mumbrav. Okay, this is the last one. This big egg is the problem. I will very unlikely kill him. Each of these eggs at the top is a boss. This is a drop, always valuable. Uh, why am I mining gold? Well, sometimes you get drops when you level up in this point where you don't like and you want a different one. Right, okay. The cryo coming into its own once again, helping you break through. Remember, gold right now is not so important because after this match, it, whatever you get, it doesn't matter. I want this health. Yeah. There we go. Bit of health. Bit of chase around, but as you see, the change in direction. This egg is uh, my primary target. The build I have right now is not optimum. I'm not convinced that I have a winning build. Go. Oh, it's the flying one, of course it is. Okay. Now I'm going to stay here and harass him. I've got multiple escape routes already in sight. Cryo bullets. Aiming it right. You can aim this quad gun. See? And now. You got it in the mouth. It's Juicy City. 18% XP gain. That is very, very sensual. I know we're gonna have we're gonna, we're gonna have it just because it's red. There we are. Pinch it, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. Take it all. It's all yours. Okay, we want to get this artifact, and it's gonna happen. Another egg. These eggs will hatch on their own, or you can run around, nuke all these eggs first, and then have a whole bunch of time to go and collect XP and create mischief. Remember these? Ooh, there we go. Ooh, that one. These little crystals, if they're in the zone, they will block it. And that is a pain. Right, what have we got? This is a new artifact I've not used before. Increase your damage by 2% and decrease your move speed by 0.5%. So I don't like that. This one, increase your dodge rate. We'll have it now. I don't like being slowed down, especially as, as this type of class. That's it. That's it. Ooh. Don't worry about gold, it takes longer to mine. Defensive position, my back is safe. Moving out of the counter loss. You can keep that hubba bubba, baby. That's it. Whoa. I wish this blue would spin. You know I mean? Come on, Greg, come on. Love it, love it, love it. There we go. Running through like a rascal. There we go. Uh, upgrade the grenade. Okay, we've done very well. Right, so you may be watching this, uh, losing your mind thinking I'm insane in my strategy and what I'm doing, that I'm playing terribly. You're probably right, it really doesn't matter. But, in the end of the day, um, I'm not very good at this class. So th this is the next bug. Now, I want to kill this bug before what I do like is you can shoot over the gaps. And again, those gaps can act as a defensive group. I have several backup escapes, don't worry. I'm using the grenade cryo to slow them down. But I'm not super damaging. Not as damaging as I'd like it to be. I get close to the boom, grab the juice, move on out. So look, I'm pulling them this way, and go. Electricity can be quite useful because it can jump targets. I like that. Uh, legendary damage, that's what we were talking about. Now the dreadnoughts come. You're going to see a problem occur very quickly. Now this bugger, when he pauses like that, then you move sideways to dodge. Okay. But see, my main gun is targeting primarily the main bugger. Cryo also affects him. There we go. 
You just got to take it easy with this. Nice and relaxed. Get him to make a fool of himself a few times. Um, there we go. I wish he damaged his own bugs, you know. With this class, usually I get him quite close. There we go. Um, close to being defeated. Spanky, spanky. There we go. Remember, if he walks on you, it's over. And it's pretty much an insta kill if he lands on you. Um, just bear that in mind. So I'm pulling him this way. There we go. Now I'm using this because I know this rock is already damaged. So I know it'd be quick to get through. Because you can get sniped by him by just being in. Whoop. There we go. Now, as you see, I circle back to the XP. There we go. I literally cannot believe I've actually killed him. Uh, well, doesn't matter now. Everything else now doesn't mean anything. Don't wait, don't fluff. It's the last mission. It's not carrying over. I mean, maybe it does, but I've never noticed a reason to, to worry about it. So this is your end. Um, hazard level 1, la -di da Usually when you get milestones, uh, when you first start playing, you're going to get like, oh, unlock this, unlock that, la -di da all over there. This just tells you what you did. It tells you what damage you did. My damage isn't sensational here. I usually like to be in around the 2 million mark. Um, and then these are the things that I picked. Uh, la -di da This tells you the extra bits you've added and why that's interesting. Is all the extra materials that I got, those specialist nodes, they come in here. So I'm just going to upgrade my armor. Or you can do that. And to, sometimes, look, I've got 8,800, right? Say I want more luck. You just you weigh it up, you know? I need 15, I've got 11, I've got to buy four. So you can buy four of those. Uh, one of my favorites is regen. Um, I've only got 14, I don't want to spend, because they're 400 to buy, 200 to sell. Uh, if there's any abilities you're not that fussed about, then maybe that, that's cool, but yeah. Uh, ooh, who cares? Uh, so there you are, that's that. Uh, what you've got there, increase your damage, uh, reload speed, mining speed. Mining speed is important. People may overlook mining speed. Mining speed allows you to break through the walls quicker. This enables you to control the terrain, uh, force the enemy into little funnels and other things like that. And that way, I, I'm, although I'm an amateur, I like uh, battlefield control over just sheer damage. Because sometimes just sheer damage is the way to go. Like literally like on a boss, you just nuke it. But what happens when the, the bugs just come in and come in and come in? And even though your damage is very high, you're not going to have damage that is just nuking everything completely it's not quite like other games like halls of torment where you can max out all your power or like vampire survivors you max out your power and you're just nuking everything nuking everything consistently that's just not quite how it works in this there's a little bit more um there's different nuances to it in this one yep so they are movement speed uh, mining speed that's a great battlefield control tactic it enables you to create shapes in the terrain like little mazes little rat runs that you can hide in or you can funnel them in especially if you if you're a gunner where you you have a directional attack rather than just a general shooting out there's your damage there's your luck luck is good because it enables you to get better upgrades which means you get more legendaries pop up and those things can shift your fight quite well XP game game you might think you're like well you don't really carry the XP over to the next mission what it does is um, it enables you to get to those overclocks uh, quicker um, and I like that and then this one radius of pickup obviously the radius that you pick up the XP so that's always handy increase your, your max uh, HP again look I'm halfway I love that one obviously and then life regen big fan of that because you often get damaged and I don't want to pay to heal so I like having that there and then you've got critical hit and then you've got uh, your, uh, your critical hits and your critical chance, um, which I haven't really experimented with, and I probably should have put more points into that, but hey who, Pip and La Dande. Next class, we will do uh, Magma, Magma Core. Core. Oh, I'll do a hazard one. So I'm going to do my favorite class on Magma Core. Right. So as you see, I've unlocked this other one. I think this is a heavy weapons expert thing. I think he might have a missile gun. I haven't unlocked yet, but I haven't unlocked that bit. But the Juggernaut Steamroll anyone in your path. comes with just a pistol, but you can get the minigun. But what you do get is a very significant um, survivability upgrade. Well, to me, I've found it so far. Bear in mind this is early access. All this can get upgraded. 
can be changed. Ooh, look at that. Funky chocolates. Okay, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Your little drone does attack, and you might be looking at it thinking, well, what's the point in this drone? It comes from the game, uh, the uh, first-person game, uh, so, and in that it is upgradable and useful. They say that this is a future update, that he's going to become more interesting and more valuable to you. Uh, watch out for this, because look, you can you can burn on it. All right. This guy, I don't worry too much about taking damage, because he's very... He's very tanky. Gonna paint my nails to match it. Fire damage. Sounds sexy, but this is not going to be my main weapon. Not really. I like knockback because, again, battlefield control. Like that. Overclock, my favorite type of clock. Right. So I need this blue stuff. We will mine it from this side. This is the secondary objective. You don't have to keep walking. You can literally just stand next to it. When you're near it, it does it. If you were walking, you'd accidentally walk into the um, the lava. When you, yeah, oh yeah, 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 fire rate, yeah, I like that. This works. Look at that. Right, let's get some of that. Too much crap in the way. Supplies can't land. Oh. It out, miner. Whatever. I'm. I'm. Now this is the gun I like. Um, and I will mix this with another heavy weapon, which you'll see. This one shoots a hail of bullets in the direction you are facing. When you first get it, like, this will be your main weapon when you first unlock this class. It will feel frustrating when you first get it. And you'll feel like, oh, well, what's the point? But trust me, this, this when you're moving forward as well, it just seems so overpowered. Four barrels better. Right, so. It's like, uh, you see, look, it clears the way. Clears the way, people. To try this, out. this is one of my favourite weapons, but I, I particularly like this one. Um, That's all you've got, you I particularly like this weapon shit. when it's uh, paired with the auto cannon, which we will see in a minute. We're going to go Feels dodge rare. chance, uh, even more tanky. I can't believe I killed the boss on the scout. Uh, yeah. Yoinksters. Tease him. Tease him. Tease him. See? That's how you do it. Right, there's not a lot of gold to collect around here. I like to use the early phases, particularly the first three, um, to focus a lot more on gathering. This is where, like, the driller class is very exciting for that reason. I need more of this blue stuff as well. Uh, we've already got some XP gain stuff, but... Uh, I want to upgrade the weapon. Just became a better as you see, it's only directional, and that can seem frustrating when it's um, upgraded. Okay, excellent. As you see, that's really useful, that directional, because you can clear the path when you're making a run for it. Right. I will take damage. Do not panic, my fluffy kins. There we go. That's what I wanted to hear. Excellent job, my Alright, there we go. That's beautiful. Um... If you position yourself right, you can hit multiple nodes at once. Uh, epic. Now it's my favorite color. Uh. You see, I should be just killing this boss, but I'm not worried about that because I'm thinking of the end game. And to me, in my mind, the end game is. Whoop. Those plants explode, which is valuable and a hindrance. See, as you see, I'm scooping back now, trying to get some of that XP. XP is more sensitive. You level up quicker earlier on, as you'd imagine. Excellent. Overclock. Right. Um, oh, see, it's different now. It's, um, no, different class. But yeah, it will be different every time uh, with these pistols. Right, so with any weapon. Fire damage is nice, does burning. But I'm going to take... 
that one. So I don't want to focus on on fire necessarily. But maybe fire is much better. We don't know. Yet. See? Look at See, this is it. I've seen people go, oh, this gun's rubbish. But it's not. It's really flipping good. It, bear in mind, there's no timer going on at the moment uh, over the mission. So I'm keeping this boss chase me. Because as soon as he's dead, the time starts. Get it done, Miner. And then I will lose access to any materials I could potentially steal. And retreat. Suck on this, you freaking uh, nature! Well. You can set these off on a chain reaction as well, bear in mind. Threat level increasing. Yes, the enemies do get more dangerous as it goes. This tactic could be risky more in the harder difficulty levels, but you won't be doing the harder difficulties from from number second one. There we go. Drop pod has arrived. Get there before the timer runs out. Uh, the drop pod is not going to hang around. Um, overclock. Uh, I like fire on, on this, actually. Uh, Yeah. I just became a better warrior. Right. See, standing here, you can cause a lot of trouble. New weapon. This is nice. I'm not so fussed by this. All this. Reroll. I don't care about those. It's just showing me the same ones. This is the one I want. So that's what you see. So I mind, so in case this comes up, I can pick different ones. This icon, as you see, I have not upgraded those weapons, but I have this one. I like the autocannon because it does very heavy bullet rounds, on, as you can see. The drop pod will hit out momentarily. And uh, these rounds seem to be highly damaging um, in comparison to standard rounds. I use them on like uh, tougher elites. What have we got? Uh, yeah, we'll upgrade him. Courses through me. More options. Okay. Meow, 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 meow. Next. Correct. Pick up radius. That would be easier, but it's less all-out war, isn't it? You see, it's red, but is it is it legendary? Like, yeah, that will help. Sod it. No way! I'm, I'm, Legendary. I'm, a new I'm enticed by the red colour. See, you, you need to learn a resilience you know to that. Drill, Fulfill your objectives. Let's get out of here. Right, let's move, people. So, that sound, that's the auto gun. And that thing can be a beast Only when it's going. And darkness it's also not directional, I believe. It. Aim my character in a way that hits as much of the stones as possible. What did they say? What did they say? Nothing. That's right. I am yet to wonder whether you do more damage when you're walking forward. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarming coming. This is round two. Of course, I want to use a bit of that to do some mining. These plants are a problem, but they can also be a boom. As you can see, because I'm tanky as flip, I'm not too worried. Should we have? Should we just go epic pickup? Two epic pickups. Uh, upgrade Eva. See, I use the pistol more as a sort of support weapon, and I focus more on these bad boys. Overclock with the heavy auto cannon, uh, Thunderhead. Uh, I seem to know a lot of weapons via the um, the avenue of of uh, Warhammer. So if I do say things like plasma gun or bolt gun, forgives. Um, right, balanced overclock. 
they're both the same. You see, this is the the thing I don't like about random. Oh no, they're not. Fire rate and damage. Oh, they're very similar though, aren't they? They're, they're too similar. Uh, does more damage, fires quicker. This I like one that. Almost makes it too easy. All right. Wound detected. Bug up and get ready. Bug up and get re ready. All right, Chief. What do you say? See, look at that. Oh, this gun's so crap, is it? Tease him. Right. Tease him. We've got to tease the boomers. The boomers won't know what hit them. And I'm not talking about a generation. Although, strangely, it's relevant. Get the landing zone cleared. Okay, see on the map? It pings it out. You know where to go. It's always worth doing this. Like I said, you do want to get... Ooh, look at that juice. We want some goggy juice. Right, boom, boom, boom. God, no. That's not a good set of words. There we go. Get rid of him. Nuke, 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 nuke. Uh, ooh, mining speed. We'll upgrade that. That will help. See, because that will help in these moments where it's a bit of a pinch. And if you're not this class, for example, which can take a lot of damage... Um, it can be a bit of a binky. Well Give me the goods. Okay, this one, I do stand still quite a bit. Uh, you have to stand still for two seconds, though. Uh, so we're going to have it anyway. Uh, yep. Dibbity dips. Dibbity dip, dip dobs. Oh. So I get that upgrade already. Oh, no, I don't want to kill him yet. Move, Binky, move. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I can take the damage. I can take the damage. Get out of the way. Boom shakalaka. Gold, gold, gold. Oh, didn't get as much resources that I wanted. Didn't collect all the ore that I wanted. Bring it back up. Well done. Objective completed. Drop part has arrived. Get there now. It will leave without you. All right, Chief. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. As you see, like, don't be scared to take some damage. It's not a big deal. Squee. Time's ticking, Squee. 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 Well done, Sometimes there's, there's like a deep dark. Um, rather sinister completed. satisfaction of getting in there with one second to go. Uh, oh man, correct, correct. Uh, Reroll. Oh, that wasn't worth it. Um, we'll just we'll just save the gold over and let it carry carry over to the next one. I think we've got another round. and work to be done. Get to it, miner. Right, there we go. Look, see, hitting all the rocks in one go. How are they ever gonna make it in this house? Just quicker, now. you know, that's what I'm talking about. Feeling much better now. What did you call me? Yeah, that's right, nothing. That's what you wanna do, you wanna smash and grab. Uh, this game isn't about being polite. Uh, it can often pay to play aggressive. Uh, I found when I've been really cautious, uh, when I've been really cautious, I have found myself often just boxing myself in being overly defensive. Excellent job. There we go, that's the secondary. Even though that is the secondary, you can still use it. Uh, should we re-roll? See what we get? Oh, meow, 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 meow. It won't let me do it. Minus four. Get out of town. Uh, should we do the fire drone? I don't like this grenade. It just explodes and does a spiral of bullets in a row. And I'm sure it's really good, but I don't enjoy it that much. The burst fire gun, I know is, is all right. But I'm going to go fire. Give me that spicy little robot. Spicy little robot. You heard it here first. He's not talking about the app you've just downloaded. The swarm is heading your way. Load up. Yeah, you know. I see you. I think when they shoot the blobs, they can't get through the rock. Just as a little keynote there. Tease them. Tease it. Yeah. Look at that, see? Critical, yeah. 
Go on, bite me. I don't care. Now it's my favorite color. Shoots two parallel bullets. I like that. 50% damage, la da That's even better. The two bullets is nice. It's a nice effect. Like a Christmas tree. We got a uh, we'll have a bit of movement speed. So I should have taken that status thing, actually, into the fire. Don't talk to me. Blow up. Alright. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know what his problem is. I don't want to take him home. It's over. It's just over. Come and stand with me, people. Come and stand with me. Held by the star. Oh. Thank you, split, please. Uh, ooh, fire rate for the big cannon. I know I'm taking a lot of damage, don't worry about it. Uh, ooh, extra damage. Feels splendido. Okay, that's... Get out of town. Nobody cares. Right. Those big bob uh, bobs, those big mobs, they do give you a little bit more XP. This is broken rock when it looks thinner. Explosive plants can be a benefit if you use it right. Uh, I'm on the edge of the cliff here, people. Don't panic. Don't panic. I'm not panicking. That's right. Okay, we're going to have to just get hot footed. If you upgrade your um, mining speed, of course, you can take less damage. Oh, I'm having that. Kinetic, think of bullets, it's physical. Get them fire drones. Right. There's the boss of Rue. I don't really want to tangle with him right now. I want gold. Lots of gold. I haven't done a good gold run. Oh, I'm going to get them. Okay. Hurt to someone who cares. Right. Uh, who asked? One thing I do like they did say in the upcoming stuff of Rue is they will be providing us with cosmetics in the future. I hope they do use the cosmetics they had in the DLCs because they had a lot of good ones. But, and also this some new ones. And some crossover somehow between the two games. However that may work. Alright, we go that one. Hot cookies, people. Hot cookies. Did you see the word dodge come up? That's called action satisfaction. I broke out of that because I was teasing. Drop pod has arrived. Get there before the timer runs out. The drop pod is not going to hang around. Okay. I didn't get everything I wanted. And I did see a magnet, but don't worry about it. Should I steal some XP where I can? Yeah, whatever, Dave. All right, um, all XP is good XP. This one Gather up your beard and get onto that drop pod. It's about to leave. Ah, uh, reloads. Stage three done and dusted. I'm in. I'm in. We'll have a good meal ready for you on your return. Okay, people, let's behave. Yes. You don't see these every day. Hmm, what else? You see, sometimes I always feel it's worth doing a, like a reroll just because it can often push you into the overclock territory with one of your weapons. Um, piercing shots firing. I like piercing this shots. This is gonna change one. everything. Ay ay ay. Reload speed. Kinetic damage. Kinetic bullets. Think about it. There we go. Um, I've also decked out in kinetics. Uh, mostly. Except for this flame one, which is a bit of a random. Morkite. There we go. Yep. Enough of you. Enough of you. Sometimes if you walk at an angle as well, you can race into a, a group of mobs without uh, nuking yourself like I just did. Right, so we're in phase four. 
that's good. That's fine. Right. I'm going to do a little XP scrounge here. I funnel them in. Look at that. Excellent. I waste my money on cosmetics. Put a bit of One of those. Bit of a scrounge. I know. I like to funnel them in. I get visions of the leagues of Voltan. Aliens. Tyranids. There we go. Speed, whatever. Dip 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 dubs. I dip dub dip 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 Tease them. The key to teasing is not to get caught in the explosion. But hey. Sometimes a dwarf has got to do what he's got to do. No matter his perspective. Yeah, well, just, just, just keep shooting, mate. I don't care. Right, upgrade. I really don't have to stand in all. Yes, uh, Jim, Bob, Amigo. If you can kill them up close as well, you can steal that XP like a Savage. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Bit of a tease. Yes. I see that little walk. Bit of a rat run. Uh, what's this? We'll bug them up. Get those plants to blow up. That's always extra firepower. Tease them up a bit. Tease them up. Look at that. See, that's that... Um, Pick up bones. We're nearly overclocked max on that. Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Not to worry, people. We're going to hide in this little alcove. But the problem is these bugs will move in and damage the rock, and this can scuffer. This is why I like to have a wall on each side. Baby. 150. It's only got one. That's fine. Cooking with gas or oil. We'll have a piece of this action. This is why I quite like the Juggernaut because he can just take a lot of hits. You you can play like a Muppet if you want to. You can get slapped about and you're doing generally fine. Well done. You got them all. I would like to get a little health um, potion somewhere. Let's see if we can find one. I'm not too worried about that drop thing yet, because I've got to walk around there. Okay. Hopefully, this drop pod will drop it like it's hot. It is the magma zone after all. Yeah, I saw what I did there as well. Um. I'm having an epic vision. There you go. Delivery oh, I missed it. He did, didn't he, though? Uh, so this one, it's uh, increases healing granted on level up. I don't find it very useful because it doesn't seem to uh, do much. This one, I just hate losing movement speed, especially when you're coming up towards uh, a boss. Now it's probably really good. So increase your damage by two percent and decrease. But if you think you get like those drops that does 150 extra damage, it's like I don't know if that's much. I don't know. I like this one. Uh, I'd be able to spend the nitro, perhaps. Right, let's do our roundaboutsies. Roundabout. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Hurt someone who cares. That's the other one, isn't it? I forgot Starship Troopers. It's a bit like that as well. Imagine Starship Troopers version of this. Get moving. It won't hang around. We have to behave, we have to think, we have to enact a degree, a modicum of intelligence. Which, obviously, you can say I'm the drop pod flirting with the devil here. Your ass moving, minor. Okay, we're good. Well done, minor. Stage four was obviously a breeze for you. So okay, to so the next one is the main boss. I find the main boss difficult. Uh, it's fine. Overclock time, baby. I don't like reducing all the other weapons. Oh damn! Do you know that would have been really good, wouldn't it? Surely next time will be better. No, we don't want none of that. More One more go. 
Uh, sorry, we'll just. Um, I don't like to heal uh, if I don't have to. If I don't have to. See, he's healing from there. Why am I picking up gold? Because I might want to change my mind on a drop. I want to mine that, but we'll use those to blow it up. That saves me to mine that big one. Right, this is one of the savage monsters. See, look, I don't have any apologies. That auto cannon, as you see, is, is, is an anni annihilating. These bugs, watch out for them. They're innocent, but they get in the way, and they cause you to have to pause and mine. And that is unacceptable. I don't like this selection. I don't like that selection either. Uh, fine. Cowabunga. But, um, yeah, those little innocent bugs, the loot bugs, watch out for them because they will block you, uh, your movement. Especially if you're doing, like, controlling the battlefield in any fashion. Okay, let's not worry about it. So I've killed one bug. This is where I'm heading, as you can see. This is the life crystal. We want the life crystal because I've been making some questionable decisions on how I throw my body into the heat of battle. Okay. Let's get this gold. I might want to change my mind on something. Sometimes having this, there's no rush. You get XP from it. Come on, auto cannon. Show him some love. Now, I would like it if my auto cannon could target bosses only. That would be pretty good. Look at that, see that forward focusing minigun with the auto cannon makes uh, just an overwhelming gunfire. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one egg has woken up. The bu bugs I, I get frustrated with are the flying ones because they can go over the rocks and that scuppers my controlling um, options. Uh, look at that, look at that. I'm growing stronger. Every day. Uh, uh, as you see the, clean up the LZ. I don't I think the fire burns them as well. So you can use the fire as an ability to like kind of dot them, damage over time them. Getting very saucy here. We're going to move to the next heart love. Yeah, 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 yeah. And look at this. And I'm combining it with clearing the battlefield point here. Not to worry. We'll just stay focused on. Splendid. What do we get? Okay. We don't need this now. This might be quite useful. Increase the damage done by 1% for every 5 gold you have. Is that a lot? I don't know if it really translates like into real damage. Like I don't know if it's comparable like you know when you get like 150 plus damage on the machine gun. Is it the same? It does it match. It might be, but I'm gonna go with this because I like I like the defensive capabilities. As you see that um pickup uh, uh range upgrades are coming into their own. Right. There he is. There he is. I want to kill him before the big boss comes out. I don't like having uh, to deal with them both. I did once, because I tried to play really safe when I first started. I did find myself um, in the unfortunate position of having three of these big bosses, three of these mini bosses, and the main boss at once. Splendid. Uh, yeah. If it looks good, it shoots better. Everyone knows that. I'm probably not going to be able to get unlock the overclocks for him. So what I'm doing here is I'm pinning myself in, which is a really bad move. This is weak rock, as is the lava rock. Okay, as you can see, he's moving in. I'm going to stay here to get him to go into attack position. Oh, damn, reload. Reload. Move this way, because I want to go the other way. go 
The auto cannon is quite punishing. As you can see, I do love the auto cannon's commitment to damage. Get him to tease, 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 tease. He goes over there. Oh, God damn. God damn. Don't worry about it, people. Don't worry about it. Come on. Reload, reload, reload. Here we go. Don't worry about it. Chris. Don't worry. Don't. Don't focus on the health potions. Now is not the time. You're either going to do it or you're not. You're either going to do it or you uh Yeah, whatever, mate. Oh, I'm so close to upgrading that one. I wish at the end they just let you do your thing. It's very hopeful. I know. I'm hoping I would get the upgrade for the thing. But I know. Get onto that drop pod. It's about to leave. Okay, just. Work, the never knew what hit I thought if I got that one extra upgrade and it was the fire drain, I would have been able to unlock the overclocks. Obviously, I didn't. Okay, so that's the gunner. Uh, I like the gunner because he, uh, particularly the combination of the lead storm and the thunderhead. Uh, as you can see, the thunderhead's hitting that over two million. I like that. The lead storm uh, wasn't particularly damaging, but I didn't. Uh, mod it I think appropriately for that um, but yeah that's an okay run okay so we'll do the next class oh we've got some upgrades what we're gonna do uh, mine and right so we did magma core um, we're gonna go back to this one for this class and then the last one we'll do the scout on hollow borough because the scout is ideal for that it's so sh it's gonna be hazard one for me so this is the drill R uh, I haven't done this one that much, but I actually really enjoy it. I, I love his tanky size. He's like a space marine or a squat, like um, Vanga, like like a, a well armored, beefy boy. Um, his standard weapons is a pistol that shoots at his butt. Now that at first at first glance, that pistol, which just shoots behind him only, seems really stupid. But as this class, you do, you're mining, right? Um, so the enemies are usually behind you. So it actually works out really well. Uh, I'm having an epic vision. Machine gun there from our turret boy. As you can see, mining speed is through the yin yang. It's what you want to see. It's what you want to see. Right, it's these white, white blobs. I don't see these that often on maps, so that they're always worth getting. Okay, so we need to get some uh, upgrading. I quite like upgrading the butt pistol, as I as I <laughs> as I labelled it once. Um, I like upgrading it with acid. Nothing like a butt pistol with acid. It does the job. You've got to choose your words for real carefully. There we go. All right, gold, 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 gold like monster mashing. Look at this. There's, there's no apologies. I need to be game. Oh, I missed a bit. We'll go back. Let them show him my butt and you don't like it. Now this class is quite u quite unique because um, there's two things about this class I want to mention right off the bat. First off, this is it's like it's not a melee class but it's a close range class it, and it's very convenient that two key weapons are on the screen right now. Corrosive Sludge Pump does an acid whir whirly wind thing around you, very valuable. The acid is, of course, deals uh, that kind of dot damage. And then you've got the uh, fi the flamethrower there. Flamethrower does fire damage. Now you get those two up, you get and you upgrade them enough, they end up spiraling and causing quite a lot of chaos. Now I haven't got the, uh, maxed out on the Corrosive. As you can see, I haven't unlocked the overclocksness, but we're gonna do that in this mission. But when these are upgraded, they're outrageous. Uh, I have nuked the main boss exceptionally quick. The quickest, actually, I've nuked the boss is on this class. Right. Okay, people, we're looking. Uh, don't worry about that. We're looking for gold and nitrite. 
and some of these. I see him, I see him. But it's not a priority over gold. Oh. Tease him. This makes my whole life better. Have some acid and then some butt gun. Right. Look at this, look at this juiciness. We want that right there. Bam. Butt gun for him. See, it's quite potent. Uh, I'm taking that magnet way too early. Uh, acid. Excellent. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we roll. Yes. Splendid and tremendous. Let's source it up through here. Right. Two more of these, and we are laughing. Exemplary work. You've achieved your objective in a record time. Yeah, we got the plants. That's good. I'm a new dwarf. Right, I need to focus more on the sludge gun. I want to upgrade that in this round. Not this literal round, in, in this uh, series of four or whatever it's matches. Five. Stop shooting him. I don't want to kill the main bug yet. Now, I've got to clear this battlefield. Excelente Mon Capitano. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nuke him, aren't I? I didn't mean to do this. I can. Oh, it's gonna happen here. Uh, uh, and a dodge chance. Okay. Now don't get over saucy. I think that you can take on everything um, in the first round. It's not usually not worth it anyway. God, I'm missing that uh, legendary um, pickup uh, range. Get yourself onto that drop part. It's about to head out. Uh, should we get better that? Okay, I know what you're saying. You're like, that was really cutting it close. Diving deeper and taking you to stage two. It's very difficult when you're showing somebody because it's like, oh, okay, I made a mistake. Right, okay, what we got? Yeah. This one looks best. Uh, oh no, no, no. Uh, really. What else we got? Stop nitrating me. Let me try again. Nothing for me here. Let's try again. Dibs. Yes. Give it to me. I accept that. I accept it as it is. It's okay. Don't worry about it. That's right, oh, the plants. Everybody loves done. the plants one over the bolo bolos or whatever they are, the little red ones, because you only got six of these ones and you get get the payout straight away this guy is an excellent um, farming kind of character like if you're not worried about killing the boss at the end and you just want to like get minerals and stuff to upgrade the account in general this is a great one to do I like, to up to level up I I jumped on this guy when I unlocked him too mine a few maps and that really did work out well leaving that there a swarm is heading your way load up as you see most of the enemies behind you anyway and you can outrun them for it okay so here as you see you can get a flamethrower uh, turret which I don't think are all that uh, and the flame grenade it's nice but again I haven't upgraded it yet so we don't know but the turret I wasn't that blown away by the flamethrower at first is a bit like it's okay but when it upgrades it becomes pretty intense I don't like the uncontrollableness of of it rotating but when you get like four jets uh, or more it can become quite something There we go. See, just show my back to him. I don't even look them, look at them anymore. Uh, crit. I probably should have more crit, but I want to get a lot of like. I want to try and get those like effect ones where it's like um, improves acid, fire, or electric. Bam, 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 squirrel, bam, bam, squirrel. 
look at that. He's just, he's just, there's no apology. He's just going to destroy it all. Oh, we oh I missed that bit. That's the burst. Oh, not a magnet. Don't touch it. LZ ready. Resupply inbound. Uh, okay, so we'll just have... We'll have the defense. Big tank detected. Bugaman, get ready. We'll bug them, all right. So look at that juice. It's, it's formidable. I have to remember though, I am not the gunner. Okay. We need another plant. Who Carl is? Uh, I still haven't worked that out. And after this, we'll be doing the final class and the final map, which will be the uh, engineer. Let's get some of that juicy life juice. Sensational. Max that out. Well done, you got them all. Oh, don't. You do have to think about it sometimes. You don't want to get yourself cornered. Now, I want to ups upgrade the sludge gun today, ideally as much as possible. Okay, the big boss. Remember, this is only level two. It's not a big deal. This is where I like to graft with the. Uh, oh, you want that one? I like to graft here to get all the uh, the rocks and stuff. All about materials for me today. On this, well, on this level. Okay. This is the problem when it shoots backwards, though. You can't control that bit. But I'm just going to get this. I know it's not. I haven't got enough stuff, but. What have uh, sludge a room. Just, just like you just, just ease them in. There you go. All tasks complete. Stage finished. The uh, drop pod is prepped and ready. Get on it before it leaves. I don't have a beam weapon, so I'm going for it. I can't get enough of this rare stuff. Now this this class might not seem sensational, but it does pick up. Uh, I've seen. Uh, a video of somebody with this maxed out and it's stage pretty outrageous. Onwards to stage three. Oh, I, I just, 15 seconds. What's happened to me? Okay, um, yeah, that's I'm exceptional. To try this out. Uh, we'll do a reroll we just to just to cheek it up a bit. Oh, don't like this option. Yes. Hell yes. I know. We'll do. Uh, are these heavy weapons? They are. Oh they? yeah. And what grade? Try again. Oh, look at that, look at that. Because um, I want to upgrade it to get to the top one, then it unlocks the overclocks for the next next time I play it, which is probably going to be soon, because I do... <gasps> Status effect. So you look acid and fire. You have your objectives. Get it done, my Oh, not bolo bolos. Okay, fine, they won't get. I like that the crystals reflect stuff. Like you can, like you know, the the lights and uh, like the bolos when they're hidden. I wonder if you get more for these ones because you have to collect more, or whether it's just an all-out outrage. Am I boxing myself in? Probably, yeah. That's okay. If this was the boss one, I would be breaking this anyway to create a little mystery path to tease him around. See, this is the benefit of having the buck gun. It's just like when you when you're mining, people like these bugs. They can't they can't get close. Now I'd love to have some pushback on it. The words are just so insane. Okay, all right, we're going to stay here. Let the big bugs break their way through. That's it. My butt gun is acid, baby. We got too much clutter for the supply plant to land. Do oh. something. Arg. Arg. Show me. Dial it in. Dial it in. They call me Saucy Jeff for a reason. But there we go. Next. That's several up. Okay, so I'm going to use the overcooker. 
This is a microwave weapon. Again, you might start now um, being the wise dwarf that you are. You'll probably start noticing that there is a distinctive kind of like. Do you know what garlic is? Like in the other games, it's like a defensive thing. You start creating a cone of damage around you. That's what this class to me represents. It's basically garlic. But multi garlics, like different types of uh, damage, maybe. Oh, got a magnet, which was sort of helpful, I guess. Yep. Uh, yep. Anything to up to do the corrosive gun at the expense of anything, because I want to unlock the overclock. See, a dodge popped up there, always valuable. See, just walk them in, walk them in. Get the big bugs, damage some stuff. Right, this is going to get hot, this is going to get real hot. Real hot. There we go. Okay, it's going to get real hot. Hot tickets. Uh, we're gonna see parallel bullets. My butt does parallel bullets now. Look, look at that. Extra thick. Okay. I'm a mess machine. Look at me go. I'm a goddamn mess machine. Bam. Uh, not doing enough mining in this, I would say, uh, as my as a criticism. Look at this. That's an appalling level of mining for a miner man. Okay, accept, accept defeat, accept defeat. Just let it be what it is. Let it be what it is. You don't have to, you don't have to win. You don't have to win. But you will. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. Yes, you're weak. What do you mean I'm taking a risk? Uh, Epico? Okay, Trish, don't tell me about it. Don't tell me about it. These three done and dusted, miner. We'll have a good meal ready for you on your return. The hands are sweaty, and the mind is racing. I should have mined. Next! Should have mined. I rarely pick one it. of these. Nothing for me here. Let's try again. I can't whatever, get enough whatever. of this rare stuff. Didn't get what I wanted. You have your objectives. Get it done, miner. The card system to me initially makes me feel outraged. Okay. Um, but as I as I do it, I start to realise that it does make each playthrough um, more unique. All right, I need to mine blue blue bricks. Google blue bricks. Can I cross that? Or is that a nilpois? Oh, dirty devils! It's a nilpois, people. There's no petty pois in the store. Get off me! Get off me! I do actually need to behave. Oh, yes. We're getting close. I want. We're going to unlock uh, overclock on sludge gun. So you see, oh, I broke that rock too early. Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. And these bugs will see me and lean towards me. And I am risking it for a biscuit right now. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Uh, we unlock the overclock. See you in hell. I think see you in hell is an upgrade on the original game. Acid all the way. I can go for that. All right, there we go. Prepare to fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. Oh, There's always a big swarm. Do you know what I mean? Right, take a break. Looks beautiful. I need. Gold. This is a big mistake. Okay. Teasing. Oh, 
Don't worry about it, people. Don't worry about it. Uh, you know, it's really heavy. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna break out of that death loop. Right, we want to get our artifact as soon as thank you, sir. Oh, we're gonna bug them. We're gonna bug them so good. It's gonna be like right, bug city. They'll break it for me. They'll break it for me. They'll break it. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is animalistic. Animalistic, I think. Right, we're gonna come back for that. What do we need? We need a red crystal. That takes priority over everything but coinage. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good. Red. Red. We're gonna keep moving. The elite is in the city. Okay. Source now. It's an animal. Right. Tease it. Tease it. Let him in. Be afraid to show him a good time. Ooh. I'll have a piece of that action for very much. Gunpart has arrived. Get there now. It will leave without you. Mind if I do. Overclock. Less initial damage, but increases the applied burn stacks. Increases beam width. Width all the way. It's all about width. Tease him. Tease him. Not that much. Close, get close. Not that close. Okay, let's just get out of it because I'm gonna kill myself. Well done, miner. Stage four was obviously a breeze for you, so we look forward to I don't want you to see a cut in the video and know that I died and had to replay it. Rip. Hurts my wallet, but feels great in my body. Feels so great in my body. Yes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give yeah. Gonna roll the dice on this one. Yeah. I want it. I'm so glad we've done the sludge gun. Uh, yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We'll take a we'll, we'll, we'll gamble. Roll the dice on this one. That was a bad gamble. Surely next time will be better. Walk away, people. Walk away. Oh, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I want to. I want to overclock that flame, baby. The and take out the Good luck, miner. Okay. So we're going to do the unthinkable. The gold's not really a problem. As you can see, the buck gun is insane. Uh, I'm having it. Call me a dwarf at heart, but you can't walk away from the gold stack. Right. Look at that. That's God delivered. Wow. The God of gold. Feels dark, rather nice, it? Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There we go. Whoop! Oh, Karumba. Okay. Uh, we actually need more experience gain, just. No, we don't. All that, and we went back to the same city. I'm growing okay. stronger. I want to upgrade my flamer before it gets to it's the hot moment. Okay, I want to ideally see if we can find one of these bug beetles. There he is. We'll clear this out because this could be a neat little route to tease um, the beast. Through. Oh, fuck gun. Mm. Okay. I don't mind. Aiden. Don't discount the butt gun. Don't even try. Get a grip. Place the alley. What works is what works. Here we go. 
we'll have a piece of this action. And you can see that. Two birds with one stone. Two birds with two bullets coming out of your butt. It's, it's very much the same subject. See, acid butt pistol maxed is, is what you're looking for. Yes. Uh, oops. I want that. Right, we've killed all the primary um, bugulars. Um, I'm in trouble. Correct. Damage, lifetime. Lifetime, I think that's how long the flame is. Beams, add one more beam. You see what I'm talking about? It's starting to have that sort of spirally force field projection. Then we're going to destroy this, destroy that, destroy that. We'll collect our bounty. Did we leave one behind? I think we did, didn't we? Collect the Mundo Mon Brave. Uh, we're going to... Red Sugar increases max HP. No, that's my try, isn't it? Sod it, we can have that one. Okay, excellent. Hey, re-roll. Don't like that. Uh, re-roll one more. Bye. Remember, it's the last last level. Don't need to save the gold for the next uh, shindig. It's not a big deal. I was convinced, like, I'd left uh, a thing. And I wish I'd stop walking into bugs while not looking where I'm going. Oh, I think the main premier bug is over there. I just want to get some life crystals. Let the time eke it itself out. We'll clear some of the way. So you get a bit of a stop it. You get a bit of a boost as well in speed. Okay. Oh. I'm probably not going to make it in this one because I'm being a silly muppet. Was it another level that I didn't get it? It's merging people. It's all merging into one. I can't see any more uh, red health. Uh, the damage point. Okay. Oh, he's here anyway. Oh, I didn't even see it. Oh, I'm not going to make it this time. I'm out. My strategy didn't pan out. What did I do wrong? Apart from everything, I think. I well, I've unlocked that. So that's the main thing. But um. I should have focused on my health, stopped running over bugs, I was getting too cocky, and that's that. But I did play aggressively, and I did get all the way to the end, so I'm happy with that. Uh, new class mod, in Interrogator, we're going to have a look at that uh, before we do the last class. So look, there you are, there's the wins, got the corrosive sludge overclocks um, kit ready. That was really good, that was very exceptional. Right, okay. Reload speed. I like that more. Ooh. Bit of that. Bit of that. We need like 10 of those. Shiatsu. Uh, no, I'm being silly. Don't buy all those. How many have I got? I've got 11 of those, 17 of those. 25, 25, okay. And then um, the noblets, 15. There you go. Uh, mining speed or foot speed we're gonna go mining speed okay so I mean you can buy sell trade it's like a little market it's nice it um, I mean it's all obviously early access there are a limited amount of missions but you'd be surprised how much gameplay you get out of doing them to unlock all the classes it's actually pretty insane um, all right oh hang on let me just check something yep that's all good right oh. The third map. I don't know if there are more maps. I haven't seen any. Maybe there will be more if I unlock this. Um, but 
Who, who knows? Who it's knows? Gonna be hazard one for we're not going to do the driller. We're going to do the engineer. But I just want to see what we unlocked. So we unlocked the interrogator. This crazy bad boy gives access to fire acid weapons um, straight off the bat. Um, rather than butt gun, you get a flamethrower out. I don't know if I like that. You get minus 30 damage, 100% status effect damage. So all the other stuff gets nerfed, but your your dot, your damage over time stuff like fire, acid, um, that, you know, corrosive or burning, those guys will be um, maxed out. I don't know what this one will be. Maybe it's like a grenades. Could be grenades. Okay, we'll go back one. Engineer. Okay, so as you can see, I uh, go back. Uh, I'm 11 in scout, 15 in gunner, 10 in driller now, and only 8 in engineer. This is because I didn't like the engineer when I first unlocked him. I found him squishy, annoying. He has no guns. Uh, he's just a fool. Right, but then I realised the turrets are incredibly overpowered, and that's when I, um, like yesterday, this guy was like level two or three, something like that. So um, yeah. Oh, before we go there, well, engineer, smartest of the lot. Engineer survives by using his gadgets, turrets, drones, and a lot of plasma to make quick work of, of any hostiles. Uh, as you can see, there's XP gain bonus. This is useful. It's only five percent. It's useful because you want to get as much XP as possible with this dude, so you can because otherwise you literally are like a sitting duck when you start and you see this when we start right and obviously you've got critical damage critical critical chance you do want to get those bursty surprise damages okay so let's source it up maintenance work i don't know what this is an xp up i don't know what that means that looks like an explosive or something right but anyway you get um maintenance worker it gives you access to construct weapons uh 10 damage to those and 10 reload this is your pets and then uh, here you get the light machine gun uh, platform. This is cool. Kinetic damage. These things can be upgraded quite well. So anyway, to I the like point. Starting with the turrets. We're sending you this in map. To take out a I'm not a fan of this map, but I, but I also do quite enjoy the challenge. As you can immediately see. Um, there you are. Always mine, especially beginning. Yes. You'll find the turrets, they don't drop, but if you stand still, when these uh, phase out, it'll, they'll start appearing very quickly. So standing still as him to deploy turrets Ooh. is a uh, pro action. Oh yeah, it's so pro, baby. Right, let's get our globules. Glib globs. See, you got in the way. Sorry, little bug. Right, there You're we go. Rare so if you stand still one while mining, this enables you to drop the turrets, which is very handy. The flappy bugs are a serious the issue. Is ready for you. Clear the landing zone for obstacles, please. Excellent. Uh, if it looks good, it shoots better. Everyone knows oops. that. That was me being uh, a mupe. But as you can see, look, he's got no flipping guns. And it's really annoying. And the turrets don't instant kill things either. See, stand still. Start dropping the turrets in you. Obviously, don't let yourself get bitten. We're going to need more health. Now, this all paints a picture of oh no, it's at the end of the world. Um, it will feel frustrating your first playthrough or a couple of playthroughs, but it's it's worth it. Okay, right. Um, this weapon I unlocked and upgraded. It's called Smart uh, the Smart Rifle, um, the Lock One. This one, I don't like it. It puts out these little laser tags, and then it hits it hits a couple of times. It can be damaging, but I don't feel it's very effective. The shotgun, I haven't really used the shotgun very much, but I do think it might be quite uh, a stunner if you like. Um, I think it be, uh, I think it, it might even have kickback. Oh yeah, look, knocks back enemies. I haven't done that up, but we're going to do uh, the Voltiac fence shock fence because I want to show you as many turrets as possible. That said, should we re-roll just to have a look? No, no, we're going to do this turret because I want to do it. I want the shock fence. So it drops the shock fence and then these little things, see as they walk through the shock, great defensives. But this, I found this class initially forces you to be defensive very early on. Now this little twig stuff, this will grow back. See, 
this is the problem with this class, man. Like, it, when you first start, you get anxious. You're not doing enough damage. Yeah. Bolo bolo. Bam. Right, we need this gold. Like it's going out of style, baby. Gold is never out of style. Okay. Cut your losses kind of moment, isn't it? Uh, upgrade the turret. Turrets will follow you around. Now, I like that because they, they're very quick. But I do like the plasma bullets. The plasma bullets are shockingly strong. So I'm going plasma. Although this does do turret. Uh, this. So I'm going to do this just to show you on tracks in case it doesn't come up again. This one almost makes it too easy. Now, the old turrets will phase out. And then the new turrets will come out as little tanks. This is good because it means they follow you and there's less having to spawn them, like worrying about stopping to spawn them. In my experience. But this is not. See this red stuff? You can't go through it, nor can they. Well done. Objective completed. Drop pod has arrived. Get there now. It will leave without you. Uh, it's, it's too tight, guys. It's too tight. That was a trick. Did you see, it was a hole. You couldn't get through it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gather up your beard and get onto that drop pod. It's about to leave. Hatches shut. Like I said, I did not like this class when I first started it. Did not like it. Uh, yeah. Can I paint my nails to match it? Uh, reload speed. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with this. To shoot and Let's get flowers. It's get time. It, yep, good, good. It's always good doing those secondary objectives because they do give you a little boost. Listen, control, you surly bugger. This yeah. one's for you. Watch out for that. There we go. They still spawn quicker if you stand still. By the way, don't be put off of the driller just because I died. Um, you could tell that like, if you played it properly, like a normal person, um, it actually would have been quite good. Red sugar. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. we got a swarming okay, coming. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Oh my god, this is a trap. That's why I don't like this map, you know. I don't mind the past enough way. either. Supplies can't land. Clear it out, miner. Right, I'm right. raring to try this out. Oh, man. Let's clear them out. So getting these early on, I find very valuable. Um, Shoot to kill. LC prep. Supply pod incoming. Uh, we're going to dodge Feels chance. Rare. Feels right. We haven't got all our flowers either. Feeling much better now. As soon as you heal yourself. I'm being a bitch about it. Two flowers in one go. Give and take us away. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, yes, damn it. I just became a better dwarf. What I did this there is I so looped me. that way to help me yeah, get the XP sure. and then I could come back for this stuff. There was really logic. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. I am exposed. Go. There we go. Looped around to this. Oh, what was that? What was that? That was something else, wasn't it? That will teach you. See, this think is the problem with no me. gun. Well, it's just feel you can't direct yourself the way you want to direct yourself. Oops. I'm flustering myself, and that is what's leading to more damage. Because I can't fight little bugs, even the basic bugs, it just, oh, you know. Right, okay, we're going to do... Uh, Reroll. Um, we're gonna do 
electrical vault birds or pistols. We're going to do the pistoles. Because we might be able to upgrade that and then I can unlock the overclocking for it. Sod it, I'm out of that. Uh, yeah. Push that turret up. Tease him. Now, as you can see, though, now you're starting to see the benefits of the class very quickly. Uh, the turrets are all in the right place. Now, plasma. This is going to make it this extra special. The plasma burns through him pretty hard. Um, I find that satisfying. Drop pod has arrived. Get there before the timer runs out. The drop pod is not going to hang around. You sure. Why not? I want to upgrade my main turrets as fast as possible. Oh man, I didn't get all the flowers. Is there another one there? There is, isn't there? But look, he's in the bush. Oh, I got him. Objective completed. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, I want to sneak things to do in this is they put the bramble weeds. Uh, on the door of the drop pod, which I find incredibly frustrating, but it does add to the dynamic of panic. Legendary pickups. Um, no, we're doing. We're focusing on unlocks. This is very central. We may have to have that. Uh, should we see if it's? No, uh, because I've only got seventeen. Splendid. That was actually a good. See, getting three cards. It's like getting three level ups. We have quotas to fulfill. Okay. I wish the crater stayed. Get the job done and, get back and I wish the terrain scarred when you were fighting. Okay. Nothing there. See, because I've got the pistol, it gives me a forward facing attack. It enables me to uh, dispense of light enemies. Uh, which, of course, is super valuable uh, when you had no flipping weapon all this time. The plasma, as you can see, is making very short work of the little bugs. Um, I find them quite effective. The brush does grow back, but that is, can be quite strategic. The brush, because you can then use, because then it will it will button up, and then they can't get through. The swarm is heading your way. Load up. The good thing is the turrets will do nearly all of the work for you. That. We need to get out of this situation. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, oh my god. See this red thing? See? It's blocking me off from what I need to get to. What am I doing? I'm looping around. This way I can get back to the XP. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Uh, Read it. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. That will teach you. Right, we're gonna create a two-wall funnel, which does not work because the walls are too thin. Uh. Keep it in hands. Um, turret. Oh my god. Okay, ooh, there's a hole there. See, this is the thing with this map, it's very sneaky. Devilish almost. Right, we're going to stay here, draw them in. As you can see, the turrets are soldering up. When you move, it does put down that. I have nowhere near enough nitro that I wanted to collect. Yes. Feels like a brand so. new gun now. Get close, still a bit of XP, but usually not worth it. Tease it. Tease it. Bloody hell, you're hot to kill. Right, okay. Remember, it will it will never end. Right, um I'm gonna show you reroll. We're gonna do a shotgun, okay? Um Are we? Are we going to do a shotgun? We're going to do a flame on. Hang on. Let's move around here. No, it's just sent up the same ones. Yeah, we're just going to do the turret. I know I wasted gold, but we're going to do the turret. Yes, okay. Oh. Epic. 
perfect I mean. That's a no-brainer. Turret. We may even unlock the overclocks for this bad boy. Okay, the main boss is here. Let's let's not frolic with him. Right, oh, there's a drop. Let's just do this. Don't shy from it, don't shy. There you go. Okay. There is a way out. I know what I'm doing. I know I'm a fool. I just not realize the red can keep going. Get yourself onto that drop part. It's I know about what I'm to doing. head out. I know what I'm doing. In courses through me. That's one for the books. Taking you to stage four, minor. Missed two of the blues, man. Okay, no worries. That's okay, because we're upgrading. No, we're not upgrading that. Okay. We'll do the damage. Hell yeah! Right. Get to work. That's aliens to be killed and gold to be mined. Here we go. That's those two. Get this. Danger and darkness. Here we go! As you can see, the plasma coming into play. It's very fast shooting and it's quite uh, high damage shots. You're going to see soon enough um, why the engineer is a unique and quite special class. Look at it, it's nuking the boss down there. You ugly son of a bitch. It takes a bit, but you can get there. You can get to a point where it's relatively unstoppable. Big swarm detected. Bug up and get ready. You see these red walls coming into play again. Quite frustrating actually. The electric fence and that this time. There we go. Sometimes curl around when mining, puts a little wall with the fence, a little defense wall in front of you. As you can see, finding Nitra is valuable, it does have a very high effect. Like, especially on upgrades, uh, mid matches. We have one more mid, uh, mid mid-carding moment. Big swarm detected. Bug up and get ready. Is it? Is it? Okay, this is getting quite tight. Maximum. Okay. Three extra charges. It's quite good. Um, but the fire rate is just so good. Overclock! My favorite type of clock! You might look scary having all the boomers, but they can be a huge benefit. And ready, miner. We need you to clean up the landing zone. Go. Here's some nitro. I've lost a lot of XP. See, I've had to retreat. But I plan to counter that loss Give it to me. by gaining uh, extra skills this way. It. I'm using the bugs to break the wall for me. Uh, I hate Look at that, there we go. This is a very spicy class. You'll start, you'll start appreciating it pretty quickly um, when you. Oh, look at that. Upgrade the flame. Staz. Drop and block. Uh, what do you want? I want it. Okay. Drop pod has arrived. 
get there before the timer runs out. Can we, can we do this? Can we do this or am I talking about? An artifact if you go back. Uh, yeah. I can use this. Doesn't hit harder, but looks fancy. Get yourself on Don't worry about it, I'm not under it. Okay. Excellent work, miner. Stage complete. Onwards to stage five. All those boomers. I could have triggered them. Uh I can't yes. get enough of this rare yes. stuff. Yes. We could unlock another gun. We could do two unlocks in one go. Surely next time we'll be better. It is fire rate, but then that is a boost up to the Moochie Poochies. It's... We'll do that to show you. We can't. I don't even have the have the red. Ignore me. Dibbity have dips. that. Let me try again. This is the big one, Miner. Okay. Find and destroy the As you see, there's two eggs Take quite close to each other. Note. I'm gonna plonk everything down. You'll see this get nuked. And then you'll start thinking, hang on, this is late game engineer. Uh yes. I'm a new dwarf. There we go. And that bug has made a fatal error. By existing. Right, we're gonna mine this because it's always good if you can to get it. We're gonna get this because it's always good to have health. <laughs> Especially if you play like I do. Okay, good, good. Uh, there's a break in the red. We do that. Right, we will be looping. There is a, a, a an overclock for the turrets to enable them to machine gun the walls down, like so they can mine for you a little bit. Feeling much better now. I've tried it out. I wasn't sold, but I can see why some people would use it, even if I think that they were mentally deranged. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we're on the last one, but I don't have enough gold to re-roll, do I? Yeah, I do. It doesn't matter, because I don't get anything good. Oh, you see the flying ones, man, they just, they wind me up. Right, this is a, this is a cave that traps you. Okay, no problem. I've killed two of the major bugs, and before that. Ideally, you want to get all three done as soon as you can. Um, look at that firepower. Right, let's get some quick gold and that health. Try and hit as many gold uh, as possible. As you can see, the plasma shots are outrageous. Uh, taking up residents in, in the Asylum of Carnage. Ooh, there's there's an egg. We're gonna we're gonna melt the egg situation with this. As you see, the bug is being melted. Fantastic. That's why you farm gold uh, in the last match. If you if you want to get an overclock emergency on. I wish in the supply drops that it wasn't these artifacts only. I wish that it would have a chance or like to drop like a very unique weapon or a unique pet something like that follows you around or it drops another dwarf with a skill set like maybe it's just a shotgun maybe it's just something but that would be cool uh, critical chance uh, we've got some nitro okay, some extra crit. there's a healthy bit there yeah, I'm spicing myself in the corner here so I've got to be careful but as you can see I've still got time But I do need to loop around. As you can see, the plasma is making a very significant impact. Uh, yes, I rarely please. pick one of these. You stand still, massively deployment, then you push forward. It's like little stop starts. 
move around for my uh, trail. Yeah, good enough. Okay, I'm still massive redeploy. Yeah, using my light uh, sidearm to help clear the way. And oh, that's all maxed out in a really beautiful way. Reroll. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go piss. You don't have to re-roll, it's not essential, I just like re-rolling, uh, to be honest. Oh, the main bug's there, do you know what? Let's, let's pull the risk of risks. So I'm burning, I'm setting myself up for trouble. There you go. As you can see, the turrets are melting him. Melting. Welcome and that's why... That's exactly why... This class... Becomes God Mode. The drop pod is prepped and ready. I don't need any of this. Leaves. They have nothing I want. We're done. Impressive work, Miner. The Dreadnought never knew what hit it. That is why... The engineer is interesting. The shock fence, I'm not sure, but I haven't got the overclocks on it yet. Now we do. The pistol, I didn't bother because I wanted to upgrade the turrets first, but now I've got it. That's nice to know. New class mod is the Tinkerer. We'll have a little look at that uh, before we wrap up. So there you go. Look at that. Upgrades. Ooh, one of those. And play. Uh, who Crystalline. Cares? Who cares? Let's see how Hazard One feels. Engineer, wasn't it? So, I unlocked the subclass, the class modification. This is the Tinkerer. So, the standard one, the maintenance worker, he has 10% damage, 10% reload speed. Okay, that's cool. This one, start with weapons. Uh, start um, weapons start at level three, and you get a 10% XP gain. You also start with a shotgun, so it gives you an immediate close range thing. But the shotgun only shoots forward, um, which of course that makes sense. Um, I don't know if it's better. I don't know. I couldn't commit. But there we go. So that's the four classes. That's the whole video is to just showcase each four, each of the four classes, uh, the base classes, or similar to. Uh, um, there you go. I like uh, I like the gunner because it's it's just uh, sheer firepower, and it falls. It to me, it falls into that spicy narrative of like in the film Aliens when they've got smart guns and you're just machine gunning bugs down. That is, you know, very satisfying for me. The scout the scout is my least favorite because he's primarily he's basic. He just seems very basic to me. Um, now you know i don't feel he's he particularly excels uh at the very least at being interesting <laughs> to me but he is an excellent starting class he's a great one to learn the ropes with i feel he's the all-rounder that's why he's the starter he, he doesn't need to be super interesting he may get really interesting um and i do quite i do like the benefits like you know i do feel like i i mine faster as him but i probably don't like I said, the gunner's my favourite. Uh, the driller, I love the driller. I know I died in this uh, with the driller at the end, but that was because I was playing like a silly clown. Uh, but you saw that uh, when I've played as him before with him, I have downed the boss extremely quickly. Like with, um, I had, you know, like you've got like four fire jets and then you've got the swirling corrosive, which can, uh, where I had it with no overclocks, the corrosive gun was not... Um, it just looks sprays out bits and bobs but when you look at you you might look at some videos and you'll see it does like a spiral so you've got that spiral then you've got the spinning um flamethrower and i'm assuming like with that heat gun maybe you get an extra cone so you basically become like this whirl whirling wind like his fists uh of of destruction and pain which is is fantastic and not to mention he's an excellent resource farmer uh which to me makes him even if you're not going to kill the final boss initially 
I found him really useful for getting all those extra materials in that upgrade tab on the main on the main uh, page, on the startup page. Which I just really like that, that you've got a, a a class that really suits farming. And then the engineer, as you saw, very good, very good. It starts off painful, in my opinion. It's just like oh. It's, got no gun you're relying on the turrets the turrets are firing at whatever they feel like and they're, they're quite slow and they don't really do a lot of damage but then as you start to pick stuff up if you put tracks on them you don't have to but i like putting the tracks on the turrets um that's really cool i would like them to add more like uh more turrets on tracks like one that's like an anti-armor one you know like the auto cannon you had on the gunner but imagine if you had an auto cannon on a turret so you had the auto cannon turret and then you had the, the plasma guns going on on the other ones maybe even grenade launchers that do really light damage grenade i don't know that's just getting ex extreme but i will say the engineer has become is easily second um in effectiveness in my mind probably it's probably the most powerful uh but the gunner the um the concept and the aesthetic of it i think is brilliant it just reminds me of aliens it makes me think of the imperial guard from warhammer uh you know like um like squat tanks whatever those um kin guard ones where they had power armor that's him he's, he's, a, he's a tank he's a beast you know like when you get him on juggernaut see because he's standard one he's just machine guns but then you put him in juggernaut mode he's got 10 percent armor 50 percent uh max uh health uh minus 50 percent weapon range and that does play a factor it turns you away from being a long range uh killing machine that you get with this one but you you use your rapid fire gun to charge into the enemies and it it, it massacres them that way i like that and then if you can if you're lucky to get the knockback on the pistol that's super valuable but there you go guys that is the four classes uh of this magnificent game it's ludicrously cheap it's on steam uh if you enjoyed it you even though you've seen me play you would enjoy playing it yourself in fact it's very fun uh getting better at it as you play uh, it is not like the other game of course but it is it they the the developers are not the guys who developed the other one uh but they have the license to use all of this you'll hear a lot of familiar sounds the uh i find the deep rock community to be extremely friendly um like even on the other game which i will be doing a video of next it's just a good game okay i don't know what else to say it's a good game it was like 8.99 in earth british pounds if you want or whatever it would be in dollars like ten dollars just buy it like if you if you vaguely enjoy these sorts of games this game is unique it has its own flavor it's not exactly the same as the others the others are like vampire survivors is fantastic of course halls of torment i like halls of torment over vampire survivors because of the aesthetic but this game has its own place you know like you get like diablo 4 you know like that's path of exile or last e epoch or whatever it was the new one they've all got their own place they all have their own jive so my name's Cheekster. This has been Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Buy this game, support the developers, and buy the goddamn extra pack for support if you can. All right, because it is amazing. These guys also have a great lineup of stuff coming. So until the next video, bye bye.